Donde esta el pescado? Oh, right there. This is what I'm fishing with. And this is what I'm fishing with. Let's go. This is pretty cool. Like we pulled over side of the road, little ditch fishing. And um, there's a bunch of these little guys. So we're gonna keep some of these cause uh, we're gonna take these little little Mayan cichlids to uh, one of our good bridge spots for some snook and tarpon hopefully we can get on. These make great baits, these little Mayans. I'm gonna rack up on these. This is a thing of beauty, guys. Today, I'm putting the Cast King MG12 that you saw in my last video in the review to the test. For the first time, I'm gonna try and catch a fish with it. Guys, it's a good episode, stay tuned. What could the first fish I catch on this be, guys? Any ideas? There's all kinds of fish down here, so let me know what you think the first fish is gonna be. All right, guys, I bought these little sleeper gills. We're gonna put these to the test. They look just like the Mayans and stuff that we have in the water here. So uh, let's give it a shot. Got the Cast King Kestrel Elite, a little sleeper gill. Let's see what happens, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing, one of the most fun fishing channels on YouTube. And uh, today's no different. I think we have a sighting from uh, Hillbilly Brian. I don't, I'm not sure, but that, that would be Brian with a Y. <laughs> yeah, in today's episode, I'm testing out the sleeper gill lures and Monster Mike is using just live bait and we're gonna try and catch some fish. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you do love fishing or the outdoors or travel and just fun outdoor content in general, you know, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now. Otherwise, you know what? It, it, it's your loss. It is your loss. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video because it was hella fun to film. So guys, enjoy. All right, gotta test out this little sleeper gill. I chose this one because it looks like the uh, a Mayan cichlid. So let's see how it goes. Looks like I missed one right there. So right now I'm just uh, letting the lure drop towards the bottom and I'm gonna work it across the bottom kind of Vertical jig it a little bit. Oh, something just hit me. Something just hit me. They like to the ambush from underneath these rocks, so I'm going to work this across that rock, let it drop underneath. See if I can get me a fish. Oh, he thumped it. Keep you know it what? Keep it going. I'm going to have to really get ready for this. Probably should have put some sunblock on my shoulders. All right, Cast King, Sleeper Gill, let's go. I'm trying to give it that hoo -wee. Let's see if I can get the hoo -wee. <laughs> Almost. I got the hoo part, I just need the wee. It's like French, wee wee. All right, we're still trying this little Sleeper Gill right here. I have faith. I have faith. Donde esta el pescado? Oh, right there. I just had to speak the Spanish to him to catch the fish. El Albi. Now you remember that. You remember who did this? That's Brian with a Y. I know you're thinking Luke Brian. Well, there we go. Peacock bass on the sleeper gill. Courtesy of Cass Kane. Whoop. Let's go. And fish on. Ooh, Mikey on. Mikey's on. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Just a nice little fun day of fishing. Yeah. Hey, you, there's a bigger one under there you can get with the gilly. Nice. Oh. Nice. 
Yeah. There go Brian. Woo. Brian's on him. That's a big peacock, bro. Mm. My first one on the test on the Cast King MG12. Cast King MG12. That's a beast. Yo, Brian, don't lose him. Don't lose him, bro. Yeah, that's a chunky. Right that's a Bro, you caught a dinosaur on the Cast King. There you go. My first fish on the Cast King MG12. Awesome little bait caster here. I highly recommend it. Got me a nice peacock bass. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. All right, so you saw we just got the, the first fish on the uh, MG12. Magnesium frame, 4.8 ounces, 15.4 pounds of drag. This is an awesome setup right here. But I got the Kestrel, which is a little bit lighter. But remember the sleeper gill? I'm going to try and catch a fish. Another fish on the sleeper gill. Hillbilly Brian got one. <laughs> so it's my turn to get one now. Yeah, I saw some fish coming in and out over here. So just worked the little sleeper down. Oh, something hit me. Oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I'm like looking over here and something hit me over there. They like that sleeper gill. They do like the sleeper gill. Yeah. I still think I like my swim baits a little bit more. Don't sleep on the sleeper gill. Don't sleep on the sleeper gill. <laughs> you saw that. You saw that. Bro, you're going to get him. Yeah. <laughs> mess up his day yeah give him that uppercut i'm gonna give him that yee -yee. Yee -yee. Yee -yee. yeah give him that yee -yee. yee yee this spot has so many different types of fish mines yep. freaking snook bass snook tarpon. tarpon barracudas jack like jack of all and um them horse eye jacks too <laughs> one thing the sleeper gill it does sink a little slow which is why i do like the swim baits so i can adjust the weight on them but when it swims, it swims nice. They actually look realistic in the water while they're swimming. It looked just like one of the Mayans Mike had caught. Got it. On the Kestrel. Yes. Woo. He ate that lure. Yep. Crushed it. That line's tight. These peacock bats, when they when they run, they shit, they have a lot of head shakes, you jump out the water, and you can lose your catch just like that sleeper gill it catches the fish but you still gotta land them <laughs> there you have it that was the episode we caught a few fish monster mike got a nice peacock bass on his live mayan cichlid and i got a few fish on the sleeper gills and i finally got to use my cast king mg12 to put it to the test and i got a nice fish using the little savage gear three inch swim bait you guys i got a lot more content coming so if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now and as usual keep your head up keep moving forward in tight lines Zzz.